hi i'm sheila shamay welcome to my channel and today i'm gonna do a um makeup look or makeup tutorial a times day inspired look however for some it may not be too much of a valentine's day look but it's something that i like and i will do um so i would like to share this video with you all First of all, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to try not to make this video so long, you guys. Um, I'll do my best, okay? First thing I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to go ahead and line my lash line up here on the top. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the CoverGirl Professional Natural Lash Clear Mascara on my brows. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base to my eyelids. So, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to apply my um, Rimmel London Last and Finish Primer. I've been loving this primer. It says that it increases the foundation work for up to 8 hours. Um, so, I'm going to apply this um, even though it says it's an ultra light formula that helps to minimize the appearance of pores. Um, but I'm going to apply it and use it. I mean, I bought it, so, yeah. Alright, I'm going to be honest with you. Most makeup products now have some type of pore minimizing ingredient or whatnot in it. So, there's almost not a way to get around it, to be honest. Oh, I forgot my moisturizer, okay? I forgot my moisturizer. I'll just blend it together, okay? I'm gonna apply the primer. I do like this primer. And it does have a foundation that goes with this. But I have to get the right shade because the shades that I got, they were too light. Okay, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Age Perfect Hydro Nutrition Glow Renewal Facial Oil. I'm going to use three drops of this. Okay, and I'm going to use the Age Perfect Cell Renewal Day Cream as well. And then I'll blend all this in. So, the foundation I'm going to use is the um, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Normal 
to Oily Foundation. It's in the shade 322 Warm Honey. Um, I had another shade. I had Sun Beige and Toffee that I had mixed together. And it was pretty, but I got the correct shade for my skin tone. Um, the right shade is 322 Warm Honey. However, you can, if you want to, if you're the same um, skin tone as I am, you can mix the Sun Beige and the Warm Honey together. And it, it creates a better... Um, match and then I I'm gonna use the powder that comes with it in the shade 330 toffee caramel okay but I'm gonna use the foundation right now I've been liking just Usually, I don't never use the foundation before I do my eye makeup, but I've been noticing that I've been liking that. Okay, I'm going to take the, um, let's see, the Real Techniques Miracle um, Complexion Sponge to blend this on my face. Okay, as you can tell, this is a pretty good match. Uh, like I said, if I mix it with the Sun Beige, it would be a perfect match. I did have to blend it down to my neck. So there is a little bit of a difference here from my neck and my chest. But like I said, if I mix it with the Sun Beige, it would be a perfect match. But however, I love the finish of this color. I just love this color. Like I said, it's in 322 Warm Honey. That's what I have on, okay? So I'm using that shade. I like it a lot. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is actually now I'm ready to do my eyeshadows, okay? Um, with eyeshadows, I've got like two palettes, well, really three palettes and a shadow. I don't know, I kind of know what I want to do and then I kind of don't. So I'm just going to go with the flow. And the first thing I'm going to use or the first palette I'm going to use is the um, Too Faced um, Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And um, I'm going to use the shade Peanut Butter as a transition color. I'm going to use the Palladio Shadow and Liner uh, Herbal Gel Crayon. It's called In the Buff. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the uh, area underneath my brow. And I didn't even put on my brow color yet. I'm also going to put on my brow um, gel as well. Okay, just put this on real quick. Alright, I'm going to blend this out. Okay, it has already highlighted that area. Okay, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. Okay. And hold on for just a minute. I'm trying to do two things at one time. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm using the light to medium. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, of course, is uh, use the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to use the shade uh, Peanut Butter in my uh, transition, as a transition color, okay? <laughs> in my transition. Okay. As a transition color, okay? I'm going to use peanut butter. I'm going to take this Flower Beauty brush. It's an E01. You can get these brushes at Walmart. They're not bad brushes. They are actually good brushes. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take this color. I'm gonna blend it up to my brow highlight color. Okay, just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Um, apply the shape Butter Pecan as a highlighting color underneath my um, brows on my brow bone. This is a very beautiful color to me good for the lid or as a brow highlight color either one depends on you and what you like just want to highlight just a little bit not too much up there just a little bit right directly below my brow I didn't want too much of a highlight Okay, what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to take, go ahead and work on my, my uh, lid. I'm going to work on my lid. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this a smudge pot by ELF called Ain't That Sweet. It's just a beautiful light, beautiful pink. has a little bit of glitter in it, but it's very pretty going to use this, uh, put this on my lid. I know it's a little messy, but I'm going to top this, okay, with another color. What I'm going to use is this beautiful, let's see which one I wanted to use. gonna use this shade right here this is the Ruby Kisses Luxe color palette um the color I'm gonna use is Berry Mix this one right here on the lid Okay, so now what I'm going to do is right into the crease, I'm going to apply My Lady, which is this purple color. I'm going to use um, this E25 from Sigma. We'll blend this out.
Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with this color called Berry Mix. This one. Put that back on my lid. So pretty. I love that color. It's just like a pink purple color. Kind of lavender. It's so pretty. love the way this looks I'm sorry <laughs> a lot of shimmer but I love it and I don't even really feel like doing anything more to this look I just I just love it just the way it is and I don't think I'm gonna do anything more to it I really like the way it looks right now so yeah Love it. Just so pretty and so natural looking to me. And that's the look I'm going for for Valentine's Day. I didn't want anything bold. However, I do have a bolder look on my other channel. Very bold. But it's also using purples. But, um, yeah, I like this. Okay, I'm going to go with this right here. So, what I'm going to do from here... So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and line my eyes. I'm going to use the um, Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil by Fergie on my lash line. Take my um, Physician Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash boosting eyeliner and serum by physician formula i love this thing okay i'm gonna line my top lash line and um yeah i'm gonna do this i'm sorry i can't look forward i just do better when i turn to the side Just like that. Just a small wing. Okay, there we go with the eyeliner. Oh, it's looking so pretty. It's coming together. Um, I just been, like I said, for this year, I just wanted something that's kind of natural looking and not so, like, pretty looking and not really, really like bold however like i said i have done a bold um look on my new channel but it's just i know that this will be the look i will go for something real pretty and nice and not too hard or harsh but anyway um this is the wet and wild max volume mascara plus by fergie been loving this mascara. It's my favorite right now. This one and the new Kate um, mascara. But so far I like this one over the Kate mascara. Just love it. Because it's so the brush is so small and um I can really grab every last one of my lashes. So so easy. I do my lower lashes later 
Let me go ahead and take the Fake Lash Instant Volume by Femme Couture. You can get this at Sally's Beauty Supply. This just helps separate the lashes. I really don't have to do this. But I just like both mascaras, the combination of both, to be on my eyelashes. Just one time does it. Okay, so let's see. Now, we're ready for concealer. <laughs> I couldn't even think of it. All right, the concealers that I'm going to use is actually um, two of them. I'm going to use, first of all, the Maybelline Fit Me, the regular, in the number 35. I'm going to put this on first and blend it. This just matches my skin tone, or the foundation, I should say. I'm going to blend that in here in a minute. Right? Using this sponge here. Now, just to highlight a little bit, I'm going to use this Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser Dark Spot Treatment Corrector um, in the shade Fair, well not Fair, in the shade Light, just to highlight the under eye just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, just like that. Then I'm going to blend it in. To put on my Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless um, Press Powder in 330 Toffee Caramel. I'm going to apply this to my face. And okay, I'm going to use this flower brush F03. Like I said, you can get these brushes at Walmart. What I'm gonna do is I have to come back with the powder. I'm going to kind of highlight certain areas, not a whole lot on my face, just certain areas I'm going to highlight. And um, I'm gonna use the Maybelline New York Fit Me in number 10 light. Okay, I'm just gonna highlight just a little bit, like right here. Right here and right here, just like this sponge again. And I'm going to actually, I'm gonna take the the other sponge and blend this in because it also has the foundation on this one, so it will kind of blend in easier. Press powder, which I'm fixing to do right now, and I'm just gonna go over it. Really, I don't have to go over it to be honest with you, it looks fine. But I'm just gonna dab just a little bit of this toffee caramel um, press powder over those areas just a little bit, just like that, just like that. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is um. It's time for bronzing. Um, so 
So I'm going to go ahead and get my bronzing powder out, which is my favorite palette right now. Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Been loving this palette. Um, I did something a little different yesterday, and I'll probably... I think I'll do the same thing because I like the way it looked. Um, I'm going to take my brush first that I use. Let me get out all my bronzing brushes. Here they are. Um, Alright. First thing I like to bronze is my nose or to slim my nose a little bit and I'm gonna take two shades I'm gonna take this yellow tone shade which is called Lyric and then I'm gonna take the um, other shade right here called Lucid I'm gonna put the name somewhere so I won't have to turn it around like that and I'm gonna put this on the bridge of my nose There we go. Now I'm going to take the, the really light <clears throat> gray tone brown shade here called Subconscious. Let me use that and kind of, you know, contour my nose. Alright, taking the two light shades of, what is it, Lyric and, is that Lucid? No, that's not Lucid. Lyric and Levitation, you guys. This is Levitation, okay, and Lyric. And just clean up the area a little bit. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my under eye area. I'm going to use the ELF Complexion Brush. Looks like this. And what I do is I use Lucid, Lyric, and Levitation. All three. I just blend them all. Okay, but I first start with Levitation, which is the orange shade. It just really brightens my skin. Okay, now I just mix all three of them. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take 
Let's see. Where's my powder brush? I'm going to go back in just a little bit with my powder brush and just kind of blend the edges of that highlighting color underneath the eyes so it doesn't look too, you know, just blend the powder around the edges of my cheeks. Okay, so now it's time to bronze, okay? I'm going to use the uh, Real Techniques blush brush. And the bronzer that I'm going to use is um, Shadow Play and Sombre. Both of those shades right there to bronze with all over my face. My chin out a little bit because I put bronzer underneath my chin so I'm just gonna blend the area okay just like that now what I'm gonna do is it's time for blush okay the blush I'm gonna use is this one here I'm going to use this blush. Um, hold on for just a minute. I'm going to use this blush right here. It is the Wet n Wild Fergie. Hold on. Wet n Wild Fergie Central Stage Collection in the shade Brush with Danger. It's a light, light pink, but it's so pretty. So I'm going to apply this to my cheeks using the Real Techniques uh, blush brush. <laughs> now it's early. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to put it on because I love me some blush, okay? Love it. Then I'm going to go back in with my palette. I'm going to use the shade, um, let's see, yeah, Shadow Play, this shade right here. I'm going to use the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. Use that. So now I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to use the uh, Real Techniques Contour Brush. I'm going to clean this line up right here. And what I do is I take this lighter color here called Levitation. I'm going to use that and just do this right here. Just to straighten that line, that contour line and my blush. Just like that. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is take my foundation brush and just go over that just a little bit. Not foundation, but my powder brush. Okay. 
Okay. So let's see. So let's see. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. Oh yeah, my bottom lashes. I'm gonna coat my bottom lashes with the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara Plus. Going to line my bottom lashes. Or apply this to my bottom lashes. <laughs> this mascara is uh, it's just fantastic you guys I can't say too much about it all I know is I love it okay just to do something a little bit different um first of all I want to um spray or set my face there's two more things that I need to do um I want to keep my face very matte. So, um, the lipsticks is going to be a little bit bold, okay? Um, but I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray Set Makeup Extender. Apply this to my face, and I'm about done with this one. I've already... Mm. That's probably too much, but I love it that much. But, um, so now what I would like to do, um, then again, I don't. I was going to apply some false eyelashes, but I feel like my eyelashes is pretty just the way that they are for this particular look. So I don't think I will go with false eyelashes I really don't but you can and if I was gonna use some I would use the WSPs in fact I might use them tomorrow on Valentine's Day so I don't want to put on stick now I don't know two lipsticks um, one is the wet n wild I don't know what you call these new collection lipsticks I, I'm not sure as to what the name is. They are new because they're made like this. The design. See how that looks. Um, I didn't get all the colors. I wish I had. But I didn't get all of them. But this is in the shade 517C. 15 minutes of flame. Morally pink and shade. Um, I did bring in the uh, Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick. In matte style. Which is like a beautiful beautiful oh just beautiful red this is one of my favorite red colors okay i know that i'm not gonna like red with this purple pink shade but i think i'm gonna like this coral pink shade better i just know it so i'm gonna apply this quickly to my lips yeah Okay, there's the lips. It's a bold lip, but I think it's pretty. It looks better with the um, pink and purple pastel colors on my eyelids. This is pastel as well. Um, I just think it's cute for Valentine's Day or anytime. Doesn't matter. Just whatever works for you, you go for it, okay? I'm going to add just a little bit of blush. I want my blush to be so noticeable. I don't know. I, I want to pack it on. Okay. I want that beautiful rosy cheek look. Yes, I want a girly, pretty girly, sweet Valentine Day look. Okay. So, the makeup is done. So... What's not done is my hair. I'm going to try to fix it just a little bit, okay?
Okay, you guys. <clears throat> this is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoy this look. This um, Valentine's Day look. I love it. It's very pretty. It's uh, just a sweet Valentine's Day look. And this is what I'm going for. Especially with the eyes and the rosy cheeks. And um, a very beautiful, bright lip. But a color that complements my outfit or whatnot. That looks good with the outfit and also with the valentine's day theme something kind of pinky or rosy or even red i mean i might go with the red but i doubt it because i know that i will be wearing i will be using the same eyeshadows as i use today or the same eyeshadows that i used in my last valentine's day makeup tutorial makeup look which was a lot of champagne and pink shades just all blended together it'll be one or the other but um uh, yeah you guys this is the look i hope you enjoyed this look i hope you like the look i love it a lot it just looks so sweet it's a sweet makeup look okay to go and so yes you guys um most likely there will be um one more video for this week i also want to announce that um starting next week i will um have a schedule now um i have two channels and i have to kind of make everything even for both channels um, I love my new channel, but I love this channel as well. This is my first channel. Um, but I do enjoy my other channel as well. So I have to, you know, make a schedule now because I like to do things on both channels. Okay. So just kind of even it out, you know, for both channels, for all of my subscribers on my other channel and then for my subscribers on this channel, okay? So what I've um, figured out is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna like do two videos on this channel a week and two videos for the other channel a week, okay? And the, um... The two days that I have set for this channel will be Wednesday and Thursday, okay? So you can expect the video from me on Wednesday and Thursday. Now, not saying that I might not come in on a day and make a video. I mean, I could come in and make a video on Monday, okay? Or a Friday. But I'm just saying pretty much you can expect the video on Wednesday and Thursday, but there could be some additional videos or something or I might have to change up a day depending on the things that I have to do in my daily, you know, life. Uh, so, but you can pretty much expect the video Wednesday and Thursday, okay, on this channel. So, yeah, you guys, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yes, I think I have everything together. And so, yes, you guys, you know I love you. And I want all of you, and I hope all of you have a happy Valentine's Day. All right. Bye-bye.